Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rana. Today is the 2nd of March 2019. We're going to reflect on Mark 10, 13 to 16. Short one. Listen. People were bringing little children to Jesus in order that he might touch them, and the disciples spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And he took them up in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. The Gospel of the Lord. Most of you who watch this know that I was an atheist for 25 years before I found Christ. What you may not know is that prior to my losing faith, I was quite a devout child. I used to be an altar server. I used to love doing the readings at Mass. I lived in a little town, and the priest was not averse to having a child do the readings. I used to hang around priests. I used to read the Bible at a time when nobody ever read it. And I owe a lot of this to my parents. And although they had nothing to do with my losing faith, they had a lot to do with my gaining it. And 25 years later, when the priest looking after me was taking me through the basic tenets of the faith, I was surprised by how much I remembered. These things aren't easily forgotten, and most of you will agree. Some of you may not practice your religion formally, but you know about Christ, and while this knowledge might be very rudimentary in some of you, it is enough to take you through difficult times. Now, think about our children. Most of them, especially in the West, are not being exposed to the faith. While all of us can recall some of the popular stories in the Bible or stanzas from famous hymns, they don't know anything. In fact, for some of them, the very concept of God doesn't exist. So not having the benefit of God's presence in their lives, most of them struggle through life, and you only have to spend a few hours talking to such children to know how difficult life is for them. But it isn't just about getting through life. It is about eternal salvation, and we abdicate our responsibility as parents and teachers by not giving them knowledge about Christ. When Jesus says, let the children come to me, do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs, it is a rebuke to us, because by not teaching them, we are not letting them come to Jesus. But we don't seem to realize the rebuke. When we confess our sins, there are a whole lot of things that come to mind, but I doubt this particular sin of omission does. Did you ever tell God you were sorry that you didn't bring up your child properly in the faith? I think it will help all of us to be a little more conscious about how grievous this negligence is in the eyes of God and take more responsibility to educate our children in the faith. Both them and us will be blessed for it. Let's begin now. God bless you.